Hello and welcome to the 365 project. No, we're not going that way. We're going this way. Look, helicopter. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. It's right there. <coughs> Hello everybody and good morning. Welcome to day 283 of the 365 project. 82 days to go until the end of the year, the end of the 365 project and the end of my journey. Whew, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a bit fluey. Block nose, sore throat, headache. I don't feel so great, like. And I'm not happy. <coughs> Whoever it is who's give me this is gonna be hell on. Don't like feeling ill. Not when we got steps to get, you know what I'm saying? Whew. But it's Wednesday, we're out and about and it's time to get our steps in. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I am not prepared for this intro at all. I just want to sit on the couch and vegetate and do nothing. But it's not too bad weather-wise, in fairness. And it's not that cold, so we're going to see what we can get. Hopefully it'll be somewhere close to target. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Just had a quick check on work week hustles. Still doing well. Stacy's closing the gap there, Stacy. Good hustle, I like what I see. Oh man. Whew. Hopefully, we've got enough in the tank to get this walk done and it doesn't get any worse because uh, I don't feel so hot like. Don't feel so hot. But we've got our water. That's going to take us very close to hitting water targets when we uh, get that polished off. And, uh, yeah, we're trying to keep our mile output going from um, the start of this month. We've got our race at your pace. <coughs> race at your pace, uh, virtual race going on for a 200 mile medal at the end of the month. We were above target when we first started this first week. We'd done more than we needed to. So as long as we can kind of keep on track, we shouldn't be too bad. Now if you excuse me, we're kind of going that way somewhere. Today's walk starts off and I don't feel very well. <laughs> what are the chances of that? In fairness, I haven't done too bad this year with sort of illness and stuff. So to get something it was a little unexpected, but yeah, I don't feel very, very pleasant right now. I didn't want to let it dampen my mood and my willingness to want to go out and, and get the walk done today and get the steps in, get the targets hit if possible. But it did affect me sort of planning wise and, and what I was wanting to kind of do in the places I wanted to kind of go so it was a bit of a mismatch sort of route in that we kind of took it in little sections we were just like okay we'll head here first we got to there and then kind of picked a new place to go to and sort of went to that place and then kind of did it in little sections really which I mean I suppose is good in a way if, if that's how you would like to do it then that's fine that's that works for you that that's fine normally I have sort of the whole route planned where I'm gonna go but yeah, I wasn't really uh, in the zone this morning when I set off, so kind of just missioned about here, there and everywhere. It was it was reasonably pleasant though, the conditions for going out today. It was nice and warm. I'm waiting for this bite to kick in for the cold because I know it's going to come and I know I'm not going to enjoy it. But whilst we have the reasonably nice weather, we should go out and get steps in. And yeah it wasn't it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad overall we managed to keep a reasonable pace going but we did stop once or twice 
um, which I thought was just necessary just to kind of catch me breath and sort of reevaluate my situation. But we ended up getting out, getting about. Now it's time to check on those steps. Oh, mad shout out props going out to James Guy. James Guy bumped into you kind of technically twice. Driving past, honking like a maniac in your van. And then inside the vape shop in Newton Aircliffe. It was good to see you. Nice to bump into you as always. Wasn't very chatty, but that's because I feel like doom right now. Oh man. Ah, never underestimate the power of good health. Feeling good and at it's awesome. Feeling under the weather's not so good. And there you have it. Ugh. We have done the walk today. Oh man, alive. Oof. I mean, I've been like bad before where I've like not been physically able to walk, so I kind of pushed through with today thinking, well, I'll sort it out. It hasn't been pleasant. But you got to do what you got to do, right? If you want to see results. So that's what we've done. We've pushed through. Granted, it has actually been quite nice out. If it wasn't so nice, I think I'd have probably jacked in a little while ago. But we'll do a team step check. It's one o'clock. Oh, 14,000 is the target. For the day, 14,653 is the result. Boom. Tick it off the list. Oh, never ending runny nose and sore throat and feeling hot and bothered is... Not where I want to be, but beating step targets and almost beating water targets, that is definitely where I want to be. As we close in on the end of the year, I thought I was going to sneeze there, but I've been robbed. <laughs> and work week hustles are looking good also, when I've just logged in there recently to check, so... Good hustle from everybody so far this week, we're on hump day, Wednesday, whatever you like to call it. <sighs> Two more days to go for the hustle. And then we'll see what the weekend's got in store, but we're hitting mile targets as well. We're hitting step targets. We're hitting water targets. <sighs> Hopefully, yeah, we're going to have another productive week on the scales on Monday. Bar on the weekend, you know, we go absolutely mental at the weekend and that might change things. But being very close to the end goal now, I want to kind of get it over the line as soon as possible, really. And then once I've hit that number, boom, that's it. I can do what I want, like literally do what I want because... I'll have lost seven stone in, well, a little amount of time. And uh, I want to feel that. I want to have that day. I want to jump on that mon that scales on that Monday and then look at the number and just, that's it. Job done. So that's why I'm aiming towards. Hope you've all had a good and productive and active day today. Thanks for watching. I've been Aaron from the Highlight Reel. Don't forget to stay safe and stay active. Above all else, keep it real. And above all else to that, stay lurgy free because if you see someone sneezing or coughing on, just punch them and run away. <laughs> the 10th of October 2018, day 283 of the 365 project, Wednesday. And we weren't going to let feeling very unpleasant and a little bit ill try and get us down too much. We still had our targets to try and hit and we still had our forward momentum to carry on from the start of this week. The highlight reel capturing the images of the journey out today and work week hustle wise we're looking good. We're looking strong at the top and that's where you want to be. It's, it's a good little motivator once you're on top there to try and keep up a, a good step total every day to, to keep up there. It's always good to be setting the pace as opposed to playing catch up I feel but that's just my opinion and yeah today's journey out has has been a success uh, when I first got up this morning I, it was, I wasn't dreading it but I just thought I'm not looking forward to this very much but thankfully the weather has been good and yeah it had well that definitely helped because if it was cold and horrible then 
I don't think I'd have hit target today. I think I'd have left it and then potentially tried to catch it up at work. But that aside, we've managed to do it. We've managed to hit water target again also. And the mileage target, which we kind of have ongoing for this month, is around six to seven miles. We've hit that as well. As of recording, it's half past one in the afternoon, so we've still got steps to add on to the total. I think we've been averaging around just under 20,000 or just over 20,000-ish for the last week or so. That's continuing into this week, and hopefully we'll continue that going as long as possible until we can hit our target, because if we can get to that magic number, there's going to be a celebration like something I've never, I've never done before. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. If we can get there, so we plow on regardless and bring on tomorrow.